Hello children. How are you all? I hope you all are well and good. So let's start our today's class. Today we are going to do exercise related to letter J Q X Y and Z. Take out your English notebook, draw double lines and make column this way as it is shown. Now we are going to write letter J. Now children, first of all, draw a standing line between the two middle lines. Make a slight curve at the bottom and put a dot over here. Draw a standing line. Make a slight curve at the bottom. Then put a dot. Draw a standing line. Make a slight curve. Put a dot over here. Now we will write letter Q. Draw a small curve between the two middle lines. Then make a standing line over here. Then make a short slanting line. This makes the letter Q. Draw a curve. Make a standing line over here. Make a slanting line over here. This makes the letter Q. Draw a curve. Then draw a standing line. Then make a short slanting line. This makes the letter Q. Now we will write letter X. It is very easy children. Now let's write it. Between the two middle lines, draw a slanting line on the left side. Then draw a short slanting line over the right side. Make a slanting line over here. Then make again here. Make a slanting line over here. Then make a slanting line over here. This makes the letter X. Now children, you all have to do these three letters in the whole page. Now we will write letter Y. Make a short slanting line on the left side. Then make a long slanting line over the right side. This makes the letter Y. Make a short slanting line over the left side. Then make a long slanting line over the right side. This makes the letter Y. Make a short slanting line over this side. Then make a long slanting line over this side. This makes the letter Y. Now we will write letter Z. Draw a short slipping line. Then make a slanting line. Then draw a short slipping line. Draw a slipping line. Then make a slanting line. Then again make a slipping line. This makes the letter Z. Draw a slipping line. Then make a slanting line. Then again make a short slipping line. This makes the letter Z. Now these two these. Now let's do the exercise. Our first exercise is match the pictures with letters. Now this side there are some pictures and over this side there are some letters. What you have to do is that you have to match the pictures with the letter. So children let's start. What is the first picture? Can you guess it? Yes, this is a picture of a jug. And what is for jug? Which letter? Yes, letter J. Now let's match the picture with the letter. Now here we go. Now what is the second picture children? Yes, this is a picture of a queen. And what is for queen? Which letter? 
Let's see which letter. Yes, letter Q. Now we will match the picture of queen with letter Q. Now let's match it. Now children, come to the third picture. What is this? Yes, Axmas tree. And what is and which letter is for Axmas tree? Yes, X. Now let's match it with X. What is this children? This is a picture of a yo-yo. And what is for yo-yo? Yes, letter Y. Now let's match it with letter Y. What is this children? This is a picture of a... Yes, tell me. Yes, zip. And what is for zip? Which letter? Yes, letter Z. Now let's match it with letter Z. Okay children, we have done this exercise. Now we will move to the next exercise. Our second exercise is circle the correct letter. Now you can see children, here I have drawn some pictures and I have written some letters over here. Now what you have to do is that you have to identify this picture and circle the correct letter which indicates this picture. Now what is the first picture? Yes. This is a picture of a joker. And what is for joker? Which letter? Let's find it out. Yes, the letter Z. Now we will circle this letter. Why? Because it is correct one. Now let's circle it. What is this? Yes, this is quilt. Now what is for quilt? Which letter? Let's find it out. Yes, letter Q. Now let's circle this letter. What is this children? This is a picture of a xylophone. And what is for xylophone? Yes, the letter X. Now let's circle this letter. What is this children? What pattern did, does it recognize? Zigzag. And what is for zigzag? Yes, the letter Z. Now let's circle this letter. Now children, we have done this exercise. We will move to the another exercise. Now our third exercise is write the first letter of the picture so you have to write the first letter of the picture given now which picture is this this is a picture of a yo-yo and what is for yo-yo ah you know it very well it is the letter y so let's write it draw a slanting line at the middle then draw another slanting line over this side. This makes the letter Y. Come to the next picture. This is a picture of a queen. Now what letter we should write? Yes, letter Q. Make a curve. Make a slant, standing line over here. Then make a short slanting line. This makes the letter Q. What is this? Just now, you have seen it now. What is this? Yes, this is a picture of zigzag. And what is for zigzag? Letter Z. Let's write letter Z. Draw a slipping line. Then make a short slanting line. Then again draw a slipping line. This makes the letter Z. What picture is this children? This is a picture of a jam. And what is for jam? Yes, letter 
J. Now we will write letter J over here in this blank. Now make a standing line, then make a slight curve at the bottom, then put a dot. Y is for yo yo, Q is for queen, Z is for zigzag, and J is for jam. Practice these exercises at your English notebook neatly and properly. Till then, take care of yourself. Thank you.